Well, hey everyone, Steve with Reef Reacher Fishing back here at the bench. Um, if you're new to the channel, I try to put out a video every week. Um, what day? I don't know. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on right now, but I am trying to put out more consistent uh, stuff. At any rate, this is a follow up to the Spin Fisher SS. Uh, remodel job I've been doing. I have about seven reels of the Spin Fisher uh, variety. Some of these are the initial early release, or not early release, the initial release um, reels of champions. Um, these were the very first Spin Fisher SS's. They were marketed as Reels of Champions. There were some subtle differences. Um, we won't go into those because this, but that's stuff we're going to talk about soon. Um, what I did was I, I, I worked all these with a Dremel to remove the original powder coating. Um, and yes, the black reels, it is powder coating. Prior to that, it was. Um, enamel paint on the green spin fishers. Um, they're too far away to reach. Uh, EPA stuff, I guess, caused them to change. And that's why you saw the switch from the spin fisher being green and some of them blue to the black. And it also was the Z series when they did that. They just put a different badge instead of a medallion painted it black and called it a Z series. At any rate, back to the SS's. Probably my favorite reel. Um, what I do, I build rods. I don't know if you can see it. Nah, there's stuff in the way. Uh, my rod building lathe is just on the other side of this board here. Um, but um, I, I wanted to say a couple of things. Um, my honest intent is to put out there some genuine factual information. Um, so I'm doing a lot more research before I speak, but painting these things, I work them down with a Rolock disc or Scotch-Brite disc on a Dremel. The powder coating is really, really hard like glass and the aluminum underneath, especially in the early reels, is really soft. So once you break through that powder coating, and you sand, it's easier to sand. You're going to remove more aluminum than powder coating. So it's easy to mess up the bodies. Also, sandblasting. I used sand. Then I used soda ash. Then I used a combination of sand, soda ash, and walnut. Or something like that. Pecan, maybe. I don't know. Pistachio. <laughs> Here at Reef Reacher Fishing. We do, we do the best we can with what we got, Cap. But... I put these re these real bodies on a spindle of sorts. This is a foregrip for a rod. It's a funky color. It's like a brownish maroon. I don't know. I never liked it. But someone gave me a bunch of it. So I took a wooden dowel. And this will show you these reels. Uh, this is going through the silent anti or the anti reverse lever. This is a three sixteenths or, you know, something like that. Three, I don't know, it's that big. But they're not special sizes. None of these parts are special. That's what made pen affordable. Um, before I get into this, I want to remind, I put down one of these puppy pads on my bench when I'm working with freshly painted reels. These have been under a heat lamp. Uh, array, so to speak, my little jury rig on that little lathe thing I set up in there rotating. And what that does is it prevents gravity from pulling on the paint and pull, you know, making runs. These came out, I can't, I can't tell you how good these came out. Um, and I do shish kebabs. Okay, I use a hot glue gun. Now, you can't put any glue on, like, here on the rotor. I do the glue on the inside and then 
push the rotor back and give it a twist and then hold it. These side plates, I ran out of room. I, I seriously have five or six reels in here. And I use bubble wrap because paint is soft for the first while. But, I mean, they don't stop coming out. Okay, these are all 750, 550, and 650 SS reels and their parts. But if you take them down properly, it's all in the prep, as they say. But the finish comes out just unbelievable. I was going to do these with Duracoat. Um, it didn't work out. And shout out to Duracoat Coatings. Guys, it's a, it's a, like ceramic co or um, powder coating, only it's as thin as paint, and it has lubricating properties. They use it on firearms, and it comes in colors, and I can, I'm learning to spray it with my airbrush. So some of these reels that were ugly and forgotten, I'm going to paint them up and hopefully be able to put a custom, you know, like a Rams logo for Mr. Cody, um, you know, um, different things. I, I can paint them. I'm good with paint. But, guys, tune in. We're going to be talking about a lot more. Uh, some of these 1955 pen color matic reels. Um, I've got the original release real they have the chrome handles and this gold is a little off and then we have see these are really third generation spin fishers but then there's generations inside that this was the final product you see that tag the original ones have these black tags black label um, look on ebay they call them all kinds of dumb stuff but uh, these boxes are really, really rare. Um, box probably goes for $50 online. Uh, but these Colormatic, here's a 209, a green, moss green 209. Um, th these came from the 1950, were introduced in the 1955 catalog. And there was a green 26, the Moss Green 20, 209, a Moss Green 109. There's gray uh, 25s. I put Newell's on this one. I think we have one over here. That, yeah, here's a, a normal uh, number 25 gray. Some of these vary. There's white ones out there. Um, but tune back in. If you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button. Just take a moment here and do that for me. I'm just a rookie at this. I'm just starting out. Um, everything's going to improve, guys. I got some neat stuff coming up. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Steve Miller Reef Reacher. Um, I run a group with a buddy, um, Joey Grimsley. Um, for, uh, real pen reels, um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, but please hit that like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me I suck or tell me I'm great. My mom says I'm special. Um, I want to put some more out there, but I'm doing some research. There's going to be some neat stuff coming up. Thanks, everyone, for hanging in this long. Um, I guess we'll see you on the next one.